Сан байцгаан нь эрхэм хатагтай нь үй та бүхэн энэ үдрийн амуулан гэрий. Монгол улс догтүртөө үйсэлэн асуудлаар дараах таван чиглэлээр тайлэн билдгэн хүрүүлж гэн. Үүнд хиймэн байцэн асуудлаар, уул урхан асуудлаар, зам тэвэрин асуудлаар, хүг айдлэн менеджмэнтэй асуудлаар, мүн догтүртөө үйжэл үйл дүрлэн хүжлэн асуудлаар тайлэн билдэж хүрүүлж гэна та бүхэн тавтай сонархну. New standards on restoration of mining sites 2008 and guideline and methodology for calculation of ecological and economic damages resulted from adverse environmental impact of mineral resource exploration and exploitation have been reinforced. Also, the state Great Hort passed the law on prohibition of mining, exploration and exploitation in river catchment area, water and forest reserves on July 16, 2009, which created a legal framework to stop license issuance in ecologically sensitive areas and to cancel previously issued licenses with a provision of compensation to license holders. With an aim to improve the public and private sector partnership to make mining transparent to the general public, the government has been operating with the Mongolian Extractive Industries Transparencies Initiative under the Prime Minister's supervision since 2006. Mongolia has changed its national classification and labeling standards according to globally harmonized system of labeling and classification of chemicals GHS and approved it officially in 2009. In order to restrict the applications of hazard use and toxic chemicals that pose potential threats to human health and surrounding environment, the list of chemicals of prohibited and limited applications in the territory of Mongolia has been updated on 2007. 111 chemicals were banned from use and 28 with limited applications. In order to disseminate laws, regulations and other information on chemicals and hazard use substances to every citizen and the government agencies, MNET has developed a website www.mne.mn chemicals for public use. Mongolia adopted national program on protection of ozone layer in 1999 and had taken measures on limited use of ozone depleting substances aiming to phase out by 2010. In spite of these initiatives, mercury and sodium cyanide spillage happened in Hongo County of Dachno province in February 2007 was a, given a big lesson. As a follow-up this lesson learned, the government has taken measures to strengthen its legal documents, conduct a nationwide inventory of hazard use and toxic chemicals and monitoring of chemicals applications. At a law on prohibition of import in transit and export of hazard use waste was approved in 2000 and the law on household and industrial waste in 2003. In line with the international conventions on hazard use wastes, the government of Mongolia approved the national program on waste reduction for 10 years in 2000 and has been implementing the program. It has planned to develop and implement strategy that consider a revision of the national program and introduction of 3 R principles, reduce, reuse and recycle starting from 2010. Since 2004, with the support from the government of Japan and GICA, the Solid Waste Master Plan of UB was developed and the result of the project improvement of UB City Waste Management System, approximately 4 hectares of area in North Lotan Cholo Disposal Point was cleaned and land filled and restored with soil and planting. Also, a new disposal site was created in an environmentally friendly way. In total, more than 200 trucks are serving for waste transportation service in Newby. 10 types of 1,568 waste bins, which produced in Russia, China, Korea and Mongolia, have been placed in city streets. A new system that provides on-call service to transport classified waste from residents by packing it in bags in a building in trust and apartment is functioning. Annually, 97 5,000 tons of waste is collected and transported from apartment buildings, Gerd district, 
families and organizations, economic entities and roads by public service companies to the central disposal site. According to the Polluter Pay Principle, MNET submitted an approved law prohibition of use and import of some plastic bags by the state Great Horth, and it decided to restrict the import and use of plastic bags thinner than 0.025 mm for household and packing purposes from January 2010. In economic transition period before 2009, Mongolia faced difficulties on public transportation due to technical inefficiency and the non-renewal of formerly state-owned public transport companies. The government of Mongolia has given consent to private sectors to run intercity transportation services through establishing contracts with private companies. However, the quality of service is not good enough to have modern, comfortable and safe transportation because of their poor financial capacity. The government supported the concept of horizontal and vertical access of transport development in coordination with the regional development policy of Mongolia. In particular, the Mongolia will continue its close collaboration with and participate in the Central Asia Regional Economic Cooperation Initiative to diminish physical and legal barriers to international trade and transport. Mongolia joined the transport networks of Asian Highway and Trans-Asian Railway Network of UNESCAP and is implementing the Trans-Mongolia project. In order to reduce negative impact of automobiles on environment and human health in 2007, Mongolia has freed import taxes on the hybrid vehicles and increased taxes on used cars depending on the age of cars according to the new excise duty tax law of 2006. Actions have been taken to revise the standards on toxic emission from automobiles and improve their control. The standards on permitted maximum level of diesel engine car emission and their measuring methods and permitted level of benzene engine automobile emission and their measuring methods were redeveloped and been enforced. The policy of the Government Action Plan for 2008-2012 to to support advanced technology was focused on waste minimization at all production cycle and promotion of efficient use of natural resources, especially raw materials, energy, water and reduction additional costs of transportation, as well as on the implementation of public awareness raising activities for sustainable consumption and production. Heat and power stations that use out-of-dated technologies and raw coal traditional gear stuffs, non-centralized heating boilers are the main source of pollution in urban areas. There is lack of investment and funding resources for establishing a sustainable source of energy and renewable energy that can provide necessary energy supply. A policy is set to establish legal accountability for polluters in order to implement polluter pay principle and to encourage environmentally friendly production through various incentives. The government fully supports new initiatives of countries in the region on increasing eco-benefits and resource efficiency, including green growth and cool earth partnership programs, and actively collaborates to benefit and to learn from these initiatives. Mongolian Chamber of Commerce and Industry, in cooperation with the European Commission, is implementing the project Development of Green Products and Eco-Labeling with an aim to provide support in improving current green labeling system in compliance with international standards and to jointly develop criteria on granting eco-labeling in accordance with modern requirements. In the scope of the year to support industrialization and in accordance with the law on customs, tax and import VAT removal of equipment and spur replacement for small and medium scale factories until 31st of December 2012, a decision was made to accept the input tax and VAT on equipment and replacement spur parts for biogas, biofertilizer production and half-cocked coal production.